In October 2019, we drove Austria's highest surface mountain pass. With vantage points reaching over 2,500 meters, you're guaranteed some of the most incredible views Austria has to offer. The road twists and turns for 48 kilometers and takes you deep into the center of Hoof Tower, Austria's largest national park. Following the pass will take you directly to the Gross Glockner. Standing at almost 3,800 meters, it is truly breathtaking. Here you'll also find the Pass Dietze, Austria's longest glacier. So sit back, relax and come with us on our most epic adventure in Europe so far. The Gross Glockner High Alpine Pass. Good morning, we are up and just about awake. We've put the bed back. Uh, we need to swivel the seat before we go, pack some things away, take our screen covers off and we're good to go. The gate to the beginning of the pass is just there. That's where we'll hopefully we'll pay and pick up our ticket. So one of the last things we need to do before we get moving is to move the swivel seat back into its normal position. And let's see if I can get it this time. <laughs> I've in had, one, in one. I've had plenty of practice, but it doesn't mean I'm any good at it yet. Something in the air, and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. So the van's about as ready as it can be in the back. We swiveled all of our furniture knobs to make sure that the cupboards are going to open. We make sure the tap's turned off. Uh, most of the stuff in the shelving's okay. It might wobble a bit, but it never really falls out. Um, like I said, stuff will wobble and shift slightly, but nothing drastic. And we're off. Turns out the people next to us had exactly the same idea, and they've just left a little bit ahead of us, but uh, no worries, as it is very, very quiet at the moment, which is just what we want. So we're heading towards the ticket booth now, and we're hoping to get a slightly reduced rate because it's uh, not exactly peak season. As we are under three and a half ton, we are classed as being a private car. This means that usually a day ticket will cost 36 euros and 50 cents. However, with it being slightly out of season, not all the museums, exhibits and restaurants are open. This gave us a reduced rate of 26 euro 50, which included a free sticker and informative map. Check the link in the description to see more info on opening times and costs. The map we were given at the ticket booth immediately came in handy. We wanted to see the sunrise and what better place than the highest accessible point on the Alpine Pass, which was pointed out on our map. Oh wow we! So we're heading towards a bike point, which should provide us with some uh, spectacular views. This is quite a cobbled road, which is rattling the stuff in the back of the van, uh, but I don't think we're too far now from the, uh, from the top. I wonder if anyone's going to be up there. I imagine there probably will be. I reckon there's going to be a couple of photographers. Yeah, this looks like quite the spot to be in. So we made it to Biker Point. I don't know if you can hear, but it sounds like it's blowing absolute gale out there. Yeah, yeah. the colours are beautiful and there's two cars as well as us up here, so it could be pretty epic. It could be very windy, right? Get everything, keys, yeah. gloves, buff, I think you need it all. I need to get mine then. I haven't even bought my coat in the front because I have the heater on, it's lovely and warm in here. <laughs> right, let's see what it's like. For some unknown reason, I didn't think about the wind up here, it's rather chilly. <laughs> Well, that was an entirely silly underestimation of the wind. Took us by surprise, I have to say. It's absolutely stunning out there, as, a, as I hope the footage and pictures showed, but oh, tough work. Yeah, it was magical. Magical, and it was just like us two running around with the camera, making sure we didn't miss any shots, but it was... Oh, it's intense. Like, it was hard just to hold the camera still, let alone, I was gonna set up some beautiful time lapses, but it just wouldn't, would not happen. It's far too windy. Teddy Ralph wants to see the view, bless you. It's epic, I don't know if you're ready for it, mate. Come on, let's do it. 
Unsurprisingly, the wind didn't really let up much during the stunning sunrise, but we made the best of it regardless. We were incredibly lucky to witness such a beautiful start to the day, but the cold was starting to set in. So we decided to leave our mark behind in the form of a sticker and headed back to the comfort of our camper. And after consulting the map, we carried on to the next destination. Another nice vantage point, but we haven't actually driven that far, so it's quite similar to what we saw from up on Bikers Point. It feels a little bit eerie because it's uh, very, very quiet as well at the moment, <laughs> which is nice. We've been up here for what, an hour and a bit, maybe two hours, and we've seen no more than eight vehicles. It could possibly be the perfect time to visit, you know. Mm. Less people, discounted rate. So Meg was wanting to use the toilet, unfortunately found some right at the spot we were at and uh, they've got quite a nice little view. From there was a short drive to Fusher Lake. We had a nice stroll around the lake and visited the exhibition inside the preserved Toll House. So we're now on the hunt for a picturesque picnic site um, and we both agreed that it's actually warm enough now in the sun anyway to maybe have it outside as long as there's not much of a breeze. We're so lucky with the weather today, so lucky. It'd be such a shame if you came up here and the visibility was poor but hopefully it continues like this because it's just stunning. I think we're going to have our breakfast here. Not very windy, directly in the sun, quiet and um, also obviously not a bad view behind us either. So I think it's a winner. This is what van life allows you to do whenever you want, pretty much. Breakfast on the side of a mountain. aren't views you get very often. They do remind us a little bit of Applecross Pass over in Scotland that we did earlier on this year, but just a bit more vast, aren't they? So we've just stopped to take some pictures while well, I was taking pictures of Meg in the van but I asked her to drive a bit further than normal, which means that I'm gonna have to go down on my trusty bicycle. I hope my brakes are good, but there are worse places to injure yourself. So I made it back to the van without incident, and me and Meg are gonna continue driving on and see what else there is. So we think we're quite far through the route, but we're gonna make the most of our day ticket. We've got until about 8 p.m. I don't know if we mentioned that. So we'll be here for sunset, hopefully. And yeah, we're just gonna just relax and take our time. It's been absolutely beautiful. We continue to follow the road to what I thought was just a dead end. Not wanting to spoil anything for myself, I hadn't done much research. It's fair to say I wasn't expecting what lay ahead. So we are now at Kaiser Franz Joseph's Hall. This serves as a lookout point with direct views over the Gross Glockner and the Pastietza, the longest glacier in the Eastern Alps. It was beyond surreal to find ourselves surrounded by such beauty. We made the short walk up to Wilhelm Swarovski Observation Tower. From here you are rewarded with a fantastic vantage point and the use of binoculars if you wish to take a closer look. We could see adventurous photographers braving the conditions for the perfect shot. We'd spent a good portion of the afternoon taking pictures and videos of the dramatic landscape, but it was time to move on. We hopped back into the van and drove to a quieter spot for a bit of rest and some much needed lunch. I 
we haven't been filming for a couple hours. We've just had a little bit of food. I'm sitting in the van, uh, just relaxing for a couple hours. So I'm very tired. My faces are tight and uh, my lips are dry. That's why they're so vaselined <laughs> up right now. <laughs> and we're sort of just going to find a spot to watch the sun go down, I think. My breakfast spot was not far down there. So we're sort of heading back the way we came. And after being in the sun for most of the day, I've gone really cold as well. So I'm gonna have to wrap up for tonight. And we are back where we first began this morning. Yeah, full circle. We're back on the biker point. I can't pronounce the actual E. We'll put it on screen because there's no point in us butchering it because yeah. we've done it for everything else. Unfortunately, yes. It's incredibly windy still up, up here. So we'll do our best. Um, I don't know what the footage from this morning is going to be like because I was struggling to hold the camera. Windy, it was cold. I want to see if we can set up a time lapse or two. Just get some nice pictures and then just chill out. And the, the luxury of having the camper van is that we can stay in here nice and warm. We've got a heater if we need it. We've got electric so we can just hunker down, can't we? And I might make a nice cup of coffee in a bit. Ooh, it's the simple things. With a hot coffee in hand, we headed out once again to enjoy the last of the sun. But as the wobbly footage might suggest, we were once again being buffeted by the wind. However, no amount of wind was going to stop us enjoying this moment. It was amazing to be back in the same spot we'd witnessed the sun rise from all those hours ago. With the departure of the sun marking the end to an incredible day, we decided it was also time to descend, back down the mountain and back to normality. This was one of the most epic days that we've had on our journey so far. The Grossglockner High Alpine Pass has so much to offer and was truly a unique experience. We are so grateful that the Alpine Pass was open during our visit to Austria. It is not to be missed if you're in this stunning country. Join us next time as our adventure through Austria continues and we swap the Alpine road for an Alpine coaster, screaming from the top of our lungs for the entire 3.5 kilometre ride. As always, we love hearing from you, so please leave us a comment down below and give this video a like too if you enjoyed it. Please press that bell button to get notified when we upload our next video. And check the video description for all relevant links to our social media and blog. And we'll see you in the next one.